Hi everyone, it's Frank Spear. You know, I've had the opportunity over the decades to present to the BACD several times, um, and it's always been such a great experience. You get such great audiences, and it's just, you're so well taken care of if you're a presenter there. And I'm making this video to share with you that in fact, I will be back at your meeting in 2022 actually presenting a full day. And for me, it's really exciting because it's a full day on one of my very favorite topics. Um, the concept, the title, is Integrating Minimally Invasive Concepts in Complex Treatment Plans. So typically, when we think about minimally invasive concepts, you think about like little tiny burrs or no tooth preparation or minimal tooth preparation. Um, but I'm gonna share with you, I'm not gonna be talking about that. Instead, I'm taking the overall concept that drives minimally invasive dentistry. And really, the person who I think distilled it the best for me is a dentist who was kind of a hero for many people in the U.S. in the 60s and 70s named Bob Barkley. Um, Bob was really just a preeminent preventive dentist, and he wrote a wonderful book. And my favorite quote of his from the book is, the goal of dentistry is to make the patient worse at the slowest possible rate. And I really think that's the core goal of introducing minimally invasive concepts, is how do we treat patients who have more complicated problems, but make them worse at the slowest possible rate. So we're gonna be talking about things like patients with significant apical root resorption, internal resorption, external resorption, ankylosis, horizontal root fractures, um, those kinds of complex problems. We're gonna talk about patients with periodontal disease and, and what is it that makes us finally decide to do something or when do we just put them on a maintenance program? And we're gonna talk about patients who specifically present that have existing maxillary anterior fixed partial dentures. So the abutment teeth have already been prepared and the question is, so do you consider converting them to an implant and single crowns? Or do we do another fixed partial denture? And how do you make those decisions? So that's the kind of topics that we're gonna be covering during that full day. Um, it's really a fun day for me to present. Um, and so I'm excited about that. And then the other kind of cool thing is, uh, you know, we've been joking back and forth a bit about we're trying to, trying to play some golf at Celtic Manor and, and maybe we'll have a little mini dental Ryder Cup of uh, U.S. versus U.K. But I think we'll wait and see how the weather is and how bad or good my golfing is at that time of year when we make that decision. So at any rate, I look forward to seeing you in 2022. Thank you.